happy Saturday. So here is the third day of <laughs> a new release. It has been a busy month for coloring book releases. And um, this one is no exception. This is the latest from Fabiana Atanasio in the Mythographic series. This is Menagerie. And I believe, I can't remember which day it went live, but it was sometime this past week. So um, this is similar to the other Mythographic books in height and width. Compared to a standard size coloring book, it is wider and not quite as tall. I do believe this also is not a find the object item book. So there are two out now, I believe. Voyage by Katambang and Menagerie by Fabiano Atanasio. So let me zoom in. And we will get started on the flip through. So I believe these are perforated, single-sided. Um, you know, I don't believe I have colored in any of my mythographic books. <laughs> so I can't really say how the paper is. Um, because I don't know. I haven't even done markers. And I totally should. I gotta say, Fabiano's artwork is definitely some of my some of my favorite art out there I there are a few mythographic series books of hers where I just don't really like the subject matter but when it comes to the actual art okay I love these like prairie dog mermaid fish things like I don't know what these are but they are really cute looking But I do. I absolutely, I love her fairy tale stuff. I, like I said, unless it's a particular subject matter, I love her mythographic stuff. I just love pretty much any of the art that she puts out, I think, is extraordinary. So, is she the one that did Enchanted Castles? Yeah. I think, and the reason I didn't get that is I've said, you know, a lot recently, I don't, Coloring buildings aren't, isn't typically one of my favorite things to do, so... Oh look, it's the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz! Or the flying gorilla. Flying baby gorilla, perhaps. I can't even tell y'all what this is. <laughs> a horse slug? A lug, maybe? Steampunk lug? <laughs> Now little little bits of building like this I don't particularly mind, but like the the real big, you know, just big buildings I don't typically if it's a color by number I don't mind, but then typically I just maybe it's because buildings tend to be more neutral colors and I like using bright, vibrant colors, so I struggle a lot in coloring them I guess like they're supposed to look. I don't know. I don't know how else to say that, so Puffins in Texas. I love this owl. This owl is one of the reasons I got this book. Of course, the cool thing about the fantasy aspect of a lot of these pictures here is, I mean, you can color uh, what looks like a natural animal in the woods any color you want, of course, but I would probably feel more like I have to do natural colors. But in an environment like this, you could have, you could have a blue fox, Tammy, <laughs> you could have a blue fox, you know, a green fox, you could, there's all kinds of things you could do. I'm a little concerned for the kitty here. Like, is he just trapped in the glass forever? What's the story here? <laughs> he seems happy enough, so I guess I guess uh, shouldn't be too concerned. Okay, that is terrifying. 
<laughs> I am sorry. The hummingbird head with human hands. I don't mind the animals as like people, but it's when they have the animal heads and the human hands that wigs me out a little. Like I, I, ex I, I expect wings here, you know, like <laughs> the human hands are a little, a little unnerving on that one for me. I still, this one is definitely one I really like. I would say, though, I think I like uh, Paradise and Dream Garden still um, are my favorites. But I am definitely glad I have this one as well. This one, there are like some pictures in particular like this one that I just really that really stand out to me and I love this one I can just imagine him like spinning around in the waves Love the Mardi Gras fox here with the mask. That is, that's pretty cool. It's like he just happened to um, find a mask on the street and get it around his head. Because, you know, he wants to join in the party too. He wants to have some fun. If he's wearing the mask, no one he knows he's a fox. This is one of the pictures. I love raccoons. I really do. I think they are some of the cutest things, some of the cutest animals that ever has, have ever existed. Yes, I'm aware they're trash pandas. Yes, I'm aware they can be very aggressive and people shouldn't really, shouldn't necessarily keep them as pets, though I have seen some people have tame ones and, you know, they swear up and down they're fine. So, um, not that I will ever own one. That's okay. I will watch from afar. The puffer fish uh, air balloon here. So it's like a little, looks almost like a little possum and a hedgehog. Very cute. I do like that these pictures are a little bit challenging in that there are obviously fantasy and different elements to these pictures enough where, like I said, it helps you think out the box a little, but it's not like this one here. There's a nice balance of white space on top of the actual line art so it doesn't feel like a lot of these books I I get overwhelmed looking at the picture because I don't know where one part ends and the other begins but here the way she does this book I can see those ending and beginning sections a lot easier like if I was going to color this I can see a lot easier here where the feathers are versus the flowers there in other pictures like all this white space in the background would be filled with other stuff too so it would just all kind of muddle together in my brain i i struggle with that a lot with these is just worried i'm going to color things that's like that's not what they're actually a part of so But her books, I don't, I don't feel as overwhelmed with. So I think I tend to gravitate towards her books more because of that. And I love this picture. Absolutely love it. I 
I don't even mind snake. I actually don't mind snakes all that much. Not not that I ever would, you know, enjoy them in real life or anything. I just, like, spiders, I don't do well in pictures or in real life. I, uh, snakes, I probably wouldn't do well with in real life, but I don't necessarily mind them in pictures. I think they're kind of cool, if that makes any sense doesn't unnerve me to color one of them. Spider pictures, I just have to hop right over. Huh. Oh, I guess because it's a new book, some of the uh, inside binding is kind of wanting to stick. If you're wondering what that cracking sound is, it's just the spine of the book. I feel like this crocodile is about to crash a party here. Like they're having they're having a little a little gig, a little throw down and he's about to disrupt their party big time. So are those the bat's eggs or is the bat stealing the eggs? There's these are the questions I that come up in my brain. Underwater llama. Oh, that's cool. I I think that would be pretty if you had um, complementary colors, and then these were kind of the merge of the colors or something. I don't know, that might be the first one I do in this book, just simply because I can already kind of visualize how I'd want to do it. Love this one too. Though I'm trying to figure out, I guess the mountains are his wings? I'm assuming? And he's a giant owl over the over the houses, so. That dude looks a little maniacal there with that, with that eye. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I, I have Voyage, Wild Winter. I like both of those. Um, I don't have Frozen Fantasies. I have Dream Garden and Paradise. I think that's it. I don't have any of the others. I probably need to look at them and see if any of them actually appeal to me, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the ones I've got. So, anyway, there are. <laughs> so, it's probably going to be, with maybe a rare exception of a book here and there, it's probably going to be some of the last books I snagged for a while um, for. Some reasons, and some reasons I will talk about on Sunday. Um, just going ahead and being a little proactive. Um, and um, so, but <laughs> I, I uh, ended ended out on a nice, nice little run here. So, <laughs> but um, anyway, I will be back tomorrow, hopefully with a color in chat. I am putting colored pencil to the cat coloring therapy picture with the little uh, cat in the sunflower garden and I will catch you up on all the goings on then. So thanks guys for watching and bye for now.